Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Michigan Tech. This is Kevin. What you're looking at is the engine of the Sherman tank, which is an R975 whirlwind engine, nine cylinder air cooled radial aircraft engines. Hmm, interesting, I didn't know that they use an aircraft engine to power this tank. You have a cross or some open section of the um, Sherman's turret. You have those munitions there. So it's a good thing they have this so that you can have a peek of what's inside the Sherman tank's turret. So on the left should be the loader. He has a smoke smoke screen gun there. They should smoke screens and then there's a 30 caliber. This is the side of the gunner. He has a like a telescope there to look at the enemy and shoot them like a targeting scope. And then the commander will be sitting behind. The loader also has some kind of periscope. You can see that. So that he can take a look at the surroundings if there are especially enemy enemy infantry. So you have a um, dismantled German tank here with the tracks. And then there's the R975 engine. That's how they load it up at the back of the tank. So this tank is featured in the movie Fury. For the Americans, this is the iconic tank mass-produced in World War II, which helped them win the war. Won, won the war against the Germans and even the Japanese. Look at the frontal armor. It's not as sloping as the Russian and the German counterpart. It's not as smooth. Uh. This is the um, scout car, the M3 scout car used by the Americans. So you have a 30 caliber machine gun and a 50 caliber machine gun. It's armored so it will protect the scouts that would try to probe into enemy lines. Yeah, and then you have this German car used in World War II and the um, Flak 30. This gun that by the, from the Germans is featured in the movie Saving Private Ryan. Quite feared actually because of its 20mm munitions. I'll pause my video. If you like this video, please click like. And then if you want to see my other videos, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.